A Sabani sails gracefully, cutting across the surf above a cobalt-blue coral reef. The Sabani, it is a symbol of Okinawan maritime culture and the fruit of centuries of seagoing tradition. The bottom of the boat is a thick plank that has been slightly carved or hollowed out. Please pay attention to the stern of the boat. Sabani on the water cut smoothly through the surface of the ocean. They do not disturb the water and leave no wake. This footage conveys, more clearly than any words, just how incredible and efficient the shape of a Sabani truly is. The Sabani. Its speed and sturdiness are why fishermen came to love the boat. However, there are few fishermen using wood sabani these days. Today, wood sabani are mainly used for races and studying tradition. These sabani were built some 40 years ago. Sometimes, old men use them to go out on the ocean. The planks are paled with years of age. The hard knots and wedges now stand out. Regularly applying shark fat is said to extend the life of Sabani boats. However, there is no one willing to take the trouble to do that anymore. In the past, in Okinawa, small boats were carved from one massive tree to create a kuribune, or dugout canoe. Seemingly, People would chop down a pine or acorn tree in the mountains and shape it into a boat. But there came a time when the building of Kuribune was banned. Builders were told to cease making Kuribune, carved from massive trees, and instead made boats by connecting together planks. The reason for the ban on Kuribune was a scarcity of large trees in the forests of Okinawa. It is said that by the beginning of the 18th century, that trees large enough for Kuribune could only be found in the Kunigami area of northern Okinawa. So the decision was made to save big trees for making boats used for trade and commerce. However, the government order prohibiting Kuribune construction was ignored and they continued to be built. In a painting on a folding screen from around the late 19th century, there appears a small boat that is the shape of a Sabani. This ship, returning from paying tribute to China, is pulling what appears to be a Kuribune. Around 1877, cedar became available from the area of Nichinan Aburatsu. This cedar was known as obi cedar and was the best lumber for boat building. Using obi cedar, it was possible to make ships in the shape of a kuribune. With this, the sabani was born. Sabani are a type of hagibune, as they involve connecting planks together. However, they also retain vestiges of their evolution from the kuribune. The base of the boat bottom and sides are carved or hollowed out of a log. Initially, the stern of the boat was made from a plank that was a cross section sliced from the end of a tree. It would seem that this feature was copied from the kuribune. Dovetail key wedges, known as fundu, are used to join together the planks. The word plank is used loosely here, as this wood is carved from pieces of timber some 20 centimeters in thickness. To build a sabani, first planks for the sides of the boat are made, and then a thick board for the boat bottom is placed on top. To simplify sabani making, a way was devised in which thin boards were joined together. 
The new method was created by fishermen who went fishing in the southern seas, such as around Saipan. These sabani were called nanyo hagi, or southern sea hagi, and became distinct from the traditional type of sabani called hon hagi, meaning genuine hagi. Nanyo hagi, made of thin boards, were braced with a ribbing for additional support. Until around the 1960s, sabani were pervasive around Okinawa. The shape of each sabani differs subtly as a result of the different styles of different shipwrights. After World War II, engines were also introduced. Sabani started to use a screw and rudder. To handle an engine, Sabani were made in larger sizes. The hardness of Honhagi and the lightness of Nanyohagi were mixed, and gradually this type of Sabani became mainstream. As the size of Sabani got larger and they traveled faster, sometimes a balance board was attached for keeping the boat's balance. Sabani made of wood were braced with materials like plastics. Around 30 years ago, fiber-reinforced plastic sabani began to appear. While the materials have changed, such as the use of fiber-reinforced plastic, the shape of the boats is exactly the same as a traditional sabani. Fishermen weren't going to easily surrender the long, familiar, and hard-won sabani shape. But today, sabani are now regaining a sliver of the spotlight, with people eager to see that the sabani and Okinawa's maritime culture are passed solidly to the next generation. At the annual Sabani Sailing Race, more than 30 Sabani gather to compete each year. A new chapter in the saga of the Sabani and its history has clearly begun. <laughs>